Okay, Mark, so the first thing we're going to do to create a file with as few patches as possible um, to give you most like CAD like surfaces <clears throat> is let me bring in your data here. So just come into import, grab your scan of your headrest. <clears throat> And then we're going to uh, use a, a command in here called uh, fit surface patches in our surfacing tool. <clears throat> but the first thing we're going to do is come into um, 3D sketch and we're going to use the extract contour curve. So um, this is also part of our surfacing workflow. Um, <clears throat> I just like some of the tools that are inside of the uh, draw section of 3D sketch here, specifically the section we're going to use and then we're going to use some of the split tool here. Um, <clears throat> play around with sensitivity a little bit on this stuff. Uh, I poked a little bit once or twice and found that um, like 50 and 50 works pretty well for pulling out the seams in this type of mesh object. This will vary a little bit depending on scan data and <clears throat> how smooth the object is, how many seams there are, whether they're deep like this or not. So, but we're going to run through and uh, let it do that. So you'll see it grabbed all of the nice deep um, seam section areas that put in nodes where it split the curves out. <clears throat> We're going to add a couple more um, of high curvature. So specifically around the top here is a, a good bend that we we'll want to go out. And what we're looking to do is create things that have uh, essentially kind of four sides to them. So you'll see that this is one big curve. So and same on the bottom here. And uh, there's some more high curvature area in here. So let's go and draw curves down the side here. Um, believe it or not, CAD faces and things like that and uh, surface patches generally want to be squares. So <clears throat> we're going to do that. Um, and this is pretty close. It doesn't uh, much matter because you're going to do this all as one section anyway. We just want to kind of get it close to where they should be. So we'll hit OK on this. And yeah, that looks, that looks good. So <clears throat> now you'll see it'll add in some extra curves. Uh, where I drew those sections in. Um, the next thing I want to do is this is actually a pretty large surface in here, so staying with our, our squares motif, uh, we're just going to do section here. We're going to do it by draw a line. So what we're actually just going to do is draw a line roughly down the middle to divide this part, and then I'm going to draw a line across here to divide it again that way. So now we'll have four patches sort of on the front and the back of all of our parts. So now you can see we're, we're wrapped around and have some pretty square patches there. <clears throat> also the sides, you know, we want to try to keep to four entities per piece. So you'll see we have four sides for all of these two. This is working out pretty good so far. Now what we're going to do is come into the split command. And I'm actually just going to cross highlight by data here. And you'll see when I grab those curves, it does select through. So I got the front and the back there. I want to split these nodes um, where these curves are touching each other because it wasn't automatically done during our creation process. Um, so let me grab the top one there, um, this bottom section, um, that bottom section there, and I think that's looking, oh, nope, this that one, this one right here. <coughs> So that's looking pretty good. We'll hit OK. If I missed one, we can always come back in. We'll do a quick check here. Um, looks like everywhere the lines are running into each other, I have good splits. So that's working out pretty well. Um, now that we're done, we essentially have our where, where our contour curves are that the patches are going to follow. So now I can come out of uh, 3D sketch and we'll come into exact surfacing. I'll hit fit surface patches. I'll actually leave this in adaptive and kind of leave things where they are. Um, geometry capture accuracy, I mean we're fabric here so we don't need to go crazy. Most of this is meant for fitting surfaces on you know machined objects and things like that. So um, I'll also turn this down. So you'll see my minimum there is like 36 thou. So I'll actually just put you know like 0.1 in here and it'll round that out so um, and then I'll hit go <clears throat> so if I have everything uh, laid out pretty well here it will come in and since uh, um, and it actually connected everything which is a good sign so if this was all yellow it would mean that we have surfaces that are not touching each other but being that it's all gray now it turned into a solid body um, just like a cat object would be 
uh, your patches look pretty good so you'll have very few to click on um, you will have to tie you know of course some of these together so like probably these uh, these six here you'll want to tie together um, and then relate the edges back um, for your process but this is pretty good um, at this point <clears throat> other benefit of using design X is I can come in and send this right to SolidWorks. So if I uh, just use our live transfer rather than even saving it out as a uh, step or a parasolid file or something like that, I can just hit go and it'll transfer everything right into SolidWorks. You'll notice all of my sketches come at this point too, which could be handy for people if they are trying to do some stuff in SolidWorks or do some modifications. Um, so we'll just hide that out and here's our our entity essentially. I can come in and grab all these individual surfaces. It's all still connected as a solid body and hopefully that'll work out pretty well for turning stuff out like this pretty quickly. Um, seems like a very few step process, easy to follow. So let me know what you think.